Hey guys, my name is Ben, I'm a developer at Playerlands, and today we're going to be looking at how to configure your store in your Playerlands portal. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to navigate to the store that we want to configure. So that's found in the stores button at the top right hand corner of your portal, and then manage on the store that you want to manage. We can then see a few options on how we can customize our web store. The first one we're going to look at is our store currency. So we can click store currency. It's going to open up this side panel for settings and store settings. Here we can see our store identifier and then underneath that our store currency. If we click on store currency, we can see what we can change our store currency to. Currently, Playland supports the United States dollar, British pound sterling and the euro. By default, your store will be set to GBP and you can change that in this panel here. So say I wanted to change to US dollar, I could click US dollar, scroll to the bottom and hit save. That will configure my store to now be set to United States dollar in my web store automatically and I don't need to change anything. The second way that we want to configure our store is to change the look of our store from the template. If I open up my store by clicking my URL at the top left hand corner of the panel, here I can see the default template that is applied to my store. If I want to change this, I can go to my portal, click on customize web store and in templates, which is automatically set, we can see the four default templates that we have available at Playerlands. We also have premium templates that you can purchase and there's also the template editor, which we can get to in a second. So if we head to templates and I want to change my template to Playerlands Dusk, all I need to do is click on Dusk and it will automatically change my web store to be this one. So if I now go back to my web store and refresh the page, you'll see that my web store has changed to the Dusk setting. So as you can see, by default, our template is looking a little bit bare without anything in it. And the way that we can add stuff to our store and make it customizable is through template settings. So if we navigate back to our portal, go back to customize web store, we can see which um, template we're on here with outline in purple. Each one has different template settings and we can go to template settings up here and this will display all of our template settings. So there's a lot of settings in here um, and it means that you can customize essentially every aspect of your um, web store. So we can edit our template settings. So welcome title, we can set to welcome to the store and welcome message, we can add something longer. So welcome to the store. We hope you have a good time. So the next thing to do is to go down to the bottom, click save, our template settings that we want to save and we can go into our store and you see that it's changed here. And so you can configure these to make them look exactly how you want your store to look. Another couple of things that we can configure in our web store is our fav icon or our URL icon. So if we click on that, we can see we can configure the URL icon. So that will change this little icon that appears next to your store. Socials, we can enter our socials here and your Minecraft server URL. And finally, in our templates, we can make new templates with our template editor. So this is for people who are knowledgeable in HTML and CSS. It uses the Nunjux templating language to make you a custom template so it can look however you want. In another video, I'm gonna be showing you how to navigate around the template editor and how to use it if you're knowledgeable in HTML and CSS.